Hello everyone, it's Anna and welcome to my April 2020 TBR. So today I'm going to be going over all the books I plan to read in April. I've kind of had a structure that I've come up with that I really think I well I, I really hope is going to work um and I just kind of want to try it out and see if this really structured reading helps especially because um school is canceled kind of for a long time now um for me um so I'm gonna be home for a long time um so I want to go over kind of all the books that I'm planning on reading I do want to say before I jump in my goal is to read two books and one audiobook per week so two physical books and one audiobook I have not completely decided on what audiobook is going to be there so I'm not going to talk about the audiobooks just because it's kind of whatever is available on Libby at the time that I'm doing it. This video is not sponsored by Libby, but like check them out if you have a library card. They're great. But um yeah. Um I'm just gonna go over the books and let's just get started. So the first um week of March, the two books that I'm planning on reading, the first one I don't have with me because it's on my lovely Kindle and it's called No More Time to Dance by G. Lawrence. It's the second book of the Catherine Howard du duology by her. Um it's told through her perspective. Um Catherine Howard is a historical figure that um is probably my favorite historical figure, one that means a lot to me. Um and reading this trilogy this duology has been an absolutely wonderful experience. Um it is one of the most amazing and raw and emotional um depictions of her that I've have ever consumed in any form of media. There's a very strong trigger warning for this with sexual assault, particularly child sexual abuse and um I'll leave a full list probably in the description just so I can make sure that I'm not forgetting everything it is a very hard book to read but it is a very um important one and it's one that I'm really glad that I'm going to be reading and then to kind of lighten things up that week I'm gonna have my middle grade pick for the month which is called Growing Up with Aloha by Kirby Larson it's um about a, a girl who lives in Hawaii during the bombing, bombing of Pearl Harbor it's the first of like two books I think so I'm gonna try it out it's if anything it's just gonna be a quick fun little middle grade read but I'm trying to read like one middle grade every month and so I guess this is my pick. The week of March I'm definitely amping it up a little bit. I'm trying to read two big hardcover books. The smaller of the two being They Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera. I so in theory I want to call Adam Silvera one of my favorite authors but I haven't actually read any of his books yet. But I own all of his books except for his new one that just came out which I'm sure I'm gonna buy eventually because all of his books sound so good but I haven't like actually read any yet and this is the one out of all of them that I'm the most excited to read it so let's read so I'm going to end it this month both of these books are two books that are very high up on my priority list and then the other book is please don't roll your eyes but I'm gonna finish the twilight saga I'm gonna read breaking dawn by Stephanie Meyer it's gonna come to an end I'm gonna finish it this book series like the first one was like I loved it um like I was total trash for it the second book was like a bit worse the third book was like a bit worse but like I'm still trash for them I've heard that a lot this is a lot of people's least favorite book and it kind of ruined the series for a lot of people I mean based off what I like what I've heard I think I'll like it but I don't know so yeah I'm gonna read that next book I'm getting into kind of some like I think darker fantasies I'm gonna be reading The Darkest Part of the Forest by Holly Block which is on my February TBR and it was like the only book that I br brought like on vacation to read the out of like the physical books that I didn't actually get to I read the other ones and I read a book on Kindle Unlimited but I didn't get to this one um it's um t it's one of Holly Black's fairy books but it doesn't take it it like I think it's it's set in the same world as the Cruel Prince and the Folk of the Air trilogy which is what the Cruel Prince is a part of but it's not like you don't have to read it and even if you did I think that this came out beforehand so I'd be fine. I have not read The Queen of Nothing yet don't spoil it I do not have a copy of it yet because you know can't exactly go to the bookstore right now um but I'm going to get a copy of The Queen of Nothing. It's like I feel like I'm gonna order The Queen of Nothing the new Hunger Games book and then this other book that I really want like at the same time so yeah I'm so excited. Thank you. 
book I'm gonna be reading um, is Girls of Paper Fire by Natasha Nigan. I'm so sorry if I pronounced that wrong. I bought this book in like January with some money that I got for Christmas and it's been really high up on my TBR ever since even though there's so many books that I've owned longer especially fantasies but um, I have heard there's a trigger warning for sexual assault in here so um, keep that in mind before you read but it is a fantasy novel that I know a lot of people have enjoyed it might be dystopian I don't think it is though the fourth week of April um, when the last full week of April I have a, a I have two books again um, and the first book I have a physical copy of it downstairs but I just didn't get it I'm too lazy so um, it's Mockingjay by Suzanne Collins right now I'm gonna be like at the very end of March rereading Catching Fire I'm gonna be reading Mockingjay because the new book comes out in May I don't know if I'll be able to get it right when it comes out kind of depends on this whole virus um, and seeing how um, it is um, by then but I really hope that I'm able to pick it up because um, yeah but I'm gonna I read on um, the reread the Hunger Games last month um, and now March I read the Cashmere and now next month this month whatever you want to call it I read uh, I'm gonna re be reading Mockingjay so I'll have reread the entire trilogy in like yay um but then the other book I'm gonna be reading is Acting for the Camera by Tony Barr this is just like an acting um like training and advice books so a lot of you probably aren't interested in it but it's about specifically acting for the camera I know there is a note out here directed at theater people and that is what I do and obviously like I want to so to get a little personal um I, my like dream is to be a theater actress but I do want to act for the camera I think it'd be really fun it's definitely something that I'm interested in doing so I do like I thought that this would be a really good opportunity to read it and to learn um about a different form of acting that I've never done before. Final week of April which is not all of April but it's just like two days into May as well. I have two fantasy novels. Um the first one is I know this could have been my middle grade pick for the month because technically it's middle grade but I just I don't think of it as middle grade so I didn't count it and it, it's Harry Potter and Sorcerer's Stone. This was on this is my February TBR. I'm sorry this was on my March TBR. I'm sorry but I'm I'm gonna read it okay I'm going to read it this month and then watch me not read it the next book is um the fifth wave by Ricky Yancey it's a sci-fi about aliens um I don't think it's a dystopian my copy's a little damaged which is sad but yeah I'm just really excited to read it I have five books here that is kind of like um they're like I'm calling them alternates it's let's say like I didn't have a book or I have like extra time in the month or like in a certain week and I don't want to start like next week's book yet then I'm gonna pick one of these so the books is let it snow which I know is a Christmas book but like I love Christmas I, I am in the mood to read Christmas books at the weirdest times so I, I, it's on here just in case I get in the mood for it and then this is also kind of a Christmas ebook but honestly it's more of a winter book which again we're, we're technically in spring now which is my favorite season but just but I have one day in December it's a um I kind of picked this randomly off my team and I'm like hmm, that might be fun to read um but yeah it's just um it's a romance book I don't really have any like full-on romance books besides like Breaking Dawn so like an option just in case I'm feeling that on um, the ship of the brides by Jojo Moyes which is a post World War II um historical fiction um I had a very disappointing experience with the Jojo Moyes book in March that I'm going to talk about in my February and March combined wrap up I hope if I get to read this whenever I read it it's a different experience the next book that I might read is Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell I'm gonna read this probably in the coming months um either this month or the next couple months because it has been on my TBR forever and it's a book that I do genuinely want to read and the illustrations are like so beautiful um which there's only like two of them but that still it's it's it's, it's such a it's a book that I'm I've been wanting to read forever it's about a fan fiction writer and I'm so excited and then the final book that I might read this month is Water Tower by James Morris, which I can't believe I haven't read it yet. If I don't read it this month, it'll probably be like really, really high priority for May um, because uh, it's a book that I really do want to read. It's the sequel to like my favorite book of like 2017. 
and I haven't read it yet. So yeah, the sequel to Skybound by James Morris, which I believe it's self-published. I'm not entirely sure, but I think it is. I think this book was self-published. Um, and um, yeah, it, he, I met him at a Comic-Con. That's where I heard about this. And you can order these off of his website. This is not sponsored. That's just where I got this book and I have the third book too so after I finish this I can make sure that I read the third book really quickly but yeah I'm so excited to read Water Tower. Those are all the books that I'm planning on reading in April or that at least I hope I get to read um so thank you all so much for watching I love you all so much and I'll see you soon.